Are hydrogen cars really better than electric cars? That's the question in everyone's mind these days. We're in the midst of a transportation revolution where hydrogen fuel cells and battery electric cars are vying for the top spot as the future of automotive technology. But which one comes out on top? Let's dive into the debate. Hydrogen cars are progressing, but they're not quite ready for the market yet. Today, electric cars and hydrogen cars are in the same race to be the next transportation solution, just like gasoline and diesel were in the past. Electric cars especially, which was Tesla, began to be in demand. However, electric cars are still in their infancy and it is still hard to find the winner. Car companies are still struggling to decide if it is batteries or hydrogen that will go forward in the long run. Let's address the big issue, pricing. In terms of fueling, hydrogen has a clear advantage because your car doesn't need to be charged. Hydrogen can be refilled within minutes, just like gasoline, which is perfect for long trips and makes owning a hydrogen car much easier. Unlike electric cars where you need to schedule charging, this is not so. At the moment, electric cars are being charged at 20 minutes minimum for the fast charging, and if you plug them into a common outlet at home, it could take many hours. Although it may be all the right for short drives in the city, it can be a pain for people who drive a lot and can't leave their cars plugged in the entire night. Let's discuss how far these cars can go in one full battery or tank. Hydrogen vehicles tend to be able to drive for a longer distance than electric cars. On an average, they can travel with a range of 300 to 400 miles on a single tank of hydrogen. On the flip side, the electric vehicles that are popularly used like the Nissan Leaf and the Chevrolet Bolt can run for about 226 and 247 miles per charge respectively. There are 14 electric car models that can drive more than 300 miles on a single charge. It is a key factor for those city residents who are commuting because it can decide whether their car can make a round trip without refueling or recharging. In electric cars, the battery is the heaviest component and it causes a decline in performance. Nonetheless, in the hydrogen car, the fuel cell including the tank is much lighter than the battery. This means that the electric motor on a hydrogen car does not have to pull as much weight to move the vehicle. Therefore, if you put in the same motor in both the battery electric car and the hydrogen car, the hydrogen one will have faster acceleration and higher speed because it is lighter. Without a heavy battery, automakers are no longer bound by the weight factor and can focus on other performance aspects. The fact that the battery is not a big one makes it possible to design a car that is light and fast even in its feeling. Hydrogen fuel cells are the power source for the electric motor, so the vehicle has the instant torque characteristic of electric vehicles. Yet, with a lighter battery, all that torque can push you off your seat and make you feel like you're being propelled with more force. When we talk about the environment, hydrogen cars are at the top. While the production of hydrogen can be energy intensive, it can be made greener by using wind and solar energy that are renewable. On the contrary, the batteries for electric cars are made from mining the rare metals like lithium and cobalt, which can be harmful to the environment. Another key feature is that recycling hydrogen fuel cells is more manageable and efficient compared to recycling batteries. Moreover, hydrogen cars don't make any pollutants. They only make water and heat vapors, making them cleaner cars for the environment. The electricity for electric vehicles comes from a range of sources, including the fossil fuels, which in turn affects the overall carbon footprint of these cars, despite being cleaner to drive. There's a question mark that can be seen in the infrastructure challenge of hydrogen cars as compared to the electric vehicle charging stations that are becoming more and more common. Although it is true that hydrogen refueling stations are presently not so many in number, there is a silver lining to it. The expansion of hydrogen investment and enthusiasm for hydrogen technology will pave the way for transformation. Picture this, hydrogen is not only for cars, it can be used to run buses, trucks and trains, which are all vehicles. Such flexibility can ultimately change the way the public transportation and logistics are working thanks to the advantages of quick refueling, extended ranges and efficiency. Now the burning question, to what extent hydrogen cars are better than electric cars? On the other hand, they undoubtedly have benefits especially in the areas of refueling speed, driving range and power to weight ratio. However, they must also confront the problem of infrastructure. Whether your decision goes in favor of one or the other depends upon your specific needs and the infrastructure your area has. I want to talk about the efficiency of hydrogen cars now, if that is okay with you. The environmental benefits are not the only things that make them efficient. 
Consider this. The biggest battery on an electric vehicle is its battery. On the other hand, the hydrogen fuel cell system including the tank containing the hydrogen is much lighter than the whole battery system. The fuel cell in a hydrogen car thus uses very little power to propel the vehicle's weight, a fact that is the reason for this disparity. The motor in a hydrogen car would be more powerful and it would be faster than that of a battery-powered car if you put the same motor in both vehicles. Why? The hydrogen car motor works with lighter loads because it is lighter. With the bulky battery being removed, the automakers have the ability to design the performance of the vehicle to their liking. The absence of heavy battery packs makes it possible to create a vehicle that is both light and fast, which is not only the way it feels but also how it actually is. In addition, fuel cells that are powered by hydrogen are similar to electric motors in terms of instant torque sensation that is felt by the drivers as in a battery electric vehicle. Alternatively, a power delivery system that does not have to deal with a heavy battery can be designed and the maximum torque can be used to propel the passengers into their seats. Here is an intriguing twist, therefore, this improved power weight ratio is also not just useful for sporty cars. An electric motor can easily pull the weight of an expensive wood and leather interior out without the additional load of a heavy battery. Moreover, in the case of family-friendly cars and pickups, the powertrain is not burdened with the task of moving rare seats or loaded cargo beds while also carrying the baggage of a large battery. This independence allows the engine to handle more passengers, more cargo or any other load without any difficulty. And now, prior to our final conclusion, I'd be happy to hear your opinion. Do you see hydrogen cars as your future or are you still convinced that electric cars are the ones to rule the roads? I would appreciate your opinion in the comments section. Additionally, if you liked our conversation, please like this video, subscribe to our channel and click the notification bell to ensure watching the latest episodes of our series about the latest tech and innovations. That's all for now folks, see you next time. I hope you keep that curiosity and adventure in you.